This is a video where we can explore the exponential regression using our TI 8384 calculator. We will use this data set, the Starbucks data set, uh, where we have the years since 1990 up to uh, 2013 and the number of stores, Starbucks stores worldwide. So the first thing to do is to put this in our calculators. If you press that and edit, you should in input those values into our calculator. So we have the values in our calculator here already. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to stat. And we're going to go to calc. And then we're going to scroll down or up until you find exp. REG. So that is exponential regression. Let's select that. Depending on what kind of calculator you have, you might have options here already. So if you don't have the options like I do, I just have exponential regression on the main screen, I'm going to input the X list, the Y list, like you would if you had this in your main screen. So I'm going to press uh, L1, so second function 1. I'm going to hit the comma, L2. And this is usually enough, but then I also want to store uh, the a regression, the exponential regression equation in my, in my uh, as a function in my Y2. So I'm going to press var, or one more comma, and then vars y vars and it's a function and this time I'm interested in storing it in y2 so I'm gonna select y2 I wanna do y2 because I kinda of wanna reserve y1 for the linear regression which we're not doing right now but in the future when we do do it I usually like that stored in L in, in, uh, in y1 so let's press enter So this is what we have. We have the regression equation stored in our Y2. And then we also have the regression equation here in A and B. So A is 97.563564. B is 1.420. And then it's going to be 97.564 times 1.42 raised to the x power. So that's what we have here, except we have a lot more decimal places because the calculator can handle all those. Okay. Now we also have the R squared and R. For a regression that's not linear, the R is really not that important. The R squared is a little bit more important to look at. So that's 0.98, which is a very, very good regression. Uh, it's good correlation. Uh, if you don't get the R squared or R, then you have to do something in your calculator where you just do it once and it should be okay. And that's to turn the diagnostics on or off. So let me take a quick detour and go and turn on the turn on or off the diagnostic. So if you press second function and look for catalog, my catalog is over here on top of the zero. And I want to scroll down till I see diagnostic. Now this is all in alphabetical order, and I want to jump down to D for diagnostic. So I'm going to press the alpha D. So I'm just going to press this this button over here because it has a D, and that gives me a quick jump to all the catalog commands to start with the D. And I see diagnostics on or off. So if I click on diagnostic off, that's going to turn my diagnostics. So I'll press enter again. This is not what you want to do. If it's already on, then leave it on. But I just want to show you how it looks like when it's off. So if I go to stat, calc, and do the exponential regression, And if I don't put any arguments here, it's going to assume that it's going to be L1 and L2. So I'll just press enter. And what happens here is I get the regression equation, but I don't 
get my r and r squared values. So if you want that, let's go back and go to catalog and jump down to D for diagnostics again and then just scroll down a little bit more until you see diagnostics on and I'll select that. So next time I do run my exponential regression I do get my R and R squared. Okay, so now I want to create the scatter plot. Uh, we have the scatter plot um, data in uh, L1 and L2. So I'm going to go to second function and stat plot, or y equals 2, which is really stat plot. And if this these aren't all off, I usually like to start fresh with everything off. So I would turn everything off by hitting 4 and then enter, and then going back to this page. But I can see that all my plots are off. So I'm just going to select the first one and then let's turn it on so while it's blinking on the on just click enter scroll down one we're gonna select this type which is our uh, regression or scatter plot and I want to scatter plot L1 and L2 and I want to use this mark okay so we can quick quit out of here real quick and we can go to zoom and zoom stat and just keep in mind that you have your Y2 already set up here so it's going to graph that as well so if I hit zoom and zoom stat then it's going to give me my scatter plot as well as my regression equation for the line so that's how my graph is going to look like alright so this is the way to obtain your regression equation, find your R squared value, and to plot your regression equation along with your scatter plot. Alright, I hope this helps.